we are for another install video. Today we're using Julia hair, which I've already done an initial review. So go ahead and click that link above to see that video. We got our brush, we got our rat tail comb, we have our little glue applier applicator thingy, and then we also have our e band glue. And we're gonna go ahead and start and the alcohol to clean up that forehead, honey. So first thing first, I like to prep my wig. So I like to um, shave off, not shave off, but cut off the clips that are on your wig. These are usually gonna be two in front and one in the back. I'm using a eyebrow um, razor. They're usually at the very front of your beauty supply store, usually um, at checkout, because we'll be selling these, if you know, you know. Um, but I don't know, because I don't steal. But <clears throat> they have them in the front. Or you can use scissors, it really doesn't matter. I'm also gonna cut off the lace in the very back of the wig, then leave the lace in the front on because I need to use that to measure where I want to place the wig on my head. Now we have our wig cap on. You're going to apply glue on top of your wig cap. Trust me, I know it looks crazy, but you're gonna do this. This is going to ensure that the um, wig cap stays on your head and gives you that melt look, honey. Do not put the glue under the cap. Don't do that. You pop the glue on top of the cap. Um, and I did, I believe, just one layer. Just one nice thin layer all the way around. I didn't use a blow dryer. I literally sat on my couch for a couple minutes until it became clear. And then I'm going to cut it all off. Um, you can use a blow dryer, but typically I just let it I let it air dry and boop, bam, bam, and really that's all you really need to do. Um, but yeah, one nice thin layer on top, and you do it this in front of your edges to keep your edges. Mind you to do that. This is how you see. These scissors were horrible, but I cut it off, um, and then you can go in and like kind of get closer to the glue with that um, eyebrow um, razor thing that I had. But yeah, you cut off with scissors. And then you're going to take that and kind of like cuff that in the back, boom, bop, bam. And look, this really is a melt, honey. I said I don't like these caps that come with the wig, but like, honestly, they do what needs to be done. Um, now, I'm going to get the wig um, and I get the bra strap <laughs> uh, clips in the back and I connect those together. See how I'm doing it? You don't connect those on the back. You connect those in the in, together and it's going to give you a very secure um install like the wig is gonna be tight on your head but not too tight where it's uncomfortable tight enough where like it's not a problem this is the last clip in the back i forgot about this one so i'm just cutting this off right now um because that is very annoying when that clip tries to poke the back of your braids in the back if you know you know especially if you have cornrows installed in your head so i'm just getting that cut off now this is me i have the wig and i'm like okay boom, bop, bam and i'm putting it over the glue i've already glued my wig, I didn't show this, I'm sorry, whatever. But I glued in front of the wig cap. I've now placed the wig on top of it. The glue is clear, the glue is dry. Now I am using the eyebrow razor to cut off all the lace. You always see, well, it's more lace on there. I know it's more lace on there. You want to cut a lot of lace off to see what you're working with, and then you go back in and cut more and more and more. But you just cut enough off so you can kind of see what you're working with um and i'm kind of doing the ear tabs and things like that because like i said i have a peanut head i'm a small head so these wigs are always too big for me so i have to cut um around my ear where that lace is to kind of get it to lay because it's too much lace for my head my head's not that wide if you have a wide head you know congratulations i know anyway um we're gonna go ahead and kind of get that razor and go in a little bit more it wasn't working so i ended up using some scissors but whatever works for you then i went in with the razor but see how i'm going in and i am just cutting 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 the closer i can to where the glue was applied and the glue is going to tell you where to stop but yeah i'm just going to go in i'm just going to go all the way in there were no edges pre-made like edges made on this wig so it was fine it was pretty easy um and honey it was literally looking so good. Um, obviously, you want, you're not going to leave your lace like this. You're going to get some concealer powder or some foundation. I'll do you some concealer powder. I'll put some on the screen of what it looks like. And you're going to use this on your wig to help with that melt. Um, yes, I did hide that lace behind my ear because, honey, I just didn't feel like getting really all up into all of that. Um but yeah, I'm sorry you can't really see this, but I'm really just going, I'm going more in 
and I'm cutting the lace as far as I can to where the glue was applied um, to get that melt. Because you don't want a big old chunk of lace on your head. Like that's that's going to look ridiculous. So get as close as you can. And I highly recommend getting you getting an eyebrow um, razor when you do this because you're going to get nice jagged um, cuts to make it look more realistic on your head. Boom, bop, bam. All right. This is where I put on, put on the band. I put the band on for an hour. This is, look at it. It literally melted. It's going to melt. It looks so good. Now, this part, you can go in and put some um, got to be spray or um, whatever else and, you know, really make it um, melt. But that was really it. It looked good. Um, the wig is cool. Um, I curled it. It did not hold a curl, unfortunately. I had to straighten it. But the wig is nice. Obviously, it's a hump on that left side of my head, right side, whatever you want to call it. So I did have to apply mousse right there to kind of um, get it looking nice. But thanks for watching. Love you. And so does God. Bye-bye.